Tonight was our first uh, league game under the floodlights here at the WNS Stadium and we welcomed Taunton Town and the fantastic news is that we came out with a 2-1 with a win in, uh, in quite a game. I do apologise if I'm a bit hoarse as we, as we go through this. Um, the starting lineup had just one change. Um, uh, Jamie Davidson was on the bench and you brought in, in young Dan O'Sullivan. Um, the reason for that? Oh, you know, James has been really good for us uh, to play in that number 10 role, but we just feel that he was carrying a bit of a knock, and uh, we just thought it was important tonight that we um, we protected him a lot, and thought putting Luke in there, who's fully fit at the moment, be more dynamic and be able to get at him. So, um, with Sully as well, we know Sully can keep the ball, and his game management's really good, so that was basically, that's what it was due to, just protecting Jamie, getting him fully fit and focused, because we've got a small squad, and hopefully in time, bring him back into his role, and can do well. Yep, and, and we started really well. The good news was that we got our passing game going and we were beginning to stretch Taunton, I thought, early on. And then the first goal came on 25 minutes. And the combination that I'm sure we're going to hear a lot of this season, which was Luke through to Toby and he, and he finished from the edge of the area, which was really good. Great goal, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, when we brought Toby in, we know that's what he's good at, you know, especially for a big, even though he's a big lad, you know, that little down the corner, down the channel, that's what we saw him doing at Dorchester when he was getting in on the balls. And what we brought him in to do is that, you know, as long as he holds the ball up, he's getting better at that. But certainly, because Luke, Luke and him are on the same wavelength. And when Luke, when Toby starts to pull away, we're fully fit. We've obviously Luke in there tonight. He's got that vision awareness to slot him in. And what a great goal. You know, I'm really pleased for Toby to get, to get a goal tonight like that, you know. No. Yep, that was it. It was a real, really good goal. And uh, Taunton's main threat really came, I think, from set pieces and, and high balls in. Uh, they got a really experienced couple of forwards up front that held the ball up well, used all of their guile to, to draw free kicks and so on. But we, we stuck it out well at the back, and at half time it was it was nil nil. So what did you say to the lads at half time? Well, we just said that we just wanted to keep on the passing game, you know, the philosophy that we bought in just to keep on the ball, keep passing the ball through, through the first, around the channel, because we know they're a big, strong side. So we know that if we play a little bit like we did off, off our game on Saturday, playing it long, we'll just play into their hands. So if we can just pass and move the ball, keep the ball moving, we'll be fine. And to be fair, every time we come in at half time, the boys really take on what we say. They've been fantastic with their attitude, you know, to take on what we say. That's good. So, so who does all the talking at half time? Or do you, do you all chip in? Matt, Matt, mainly Matty, you know, the, the gaffer, he's got the he's got the more the composure and he sees things. Obviously you've got Shane and myself that go a little bit mad on the sideline trying to get the boys going and seeing pictures where we can help them to squeeze up and pull them around. But no, it's Matty. Matty gets has a real clear head. He talks to him, um, you know, technical, tactically. And then I come in and Shane and talk about a couple of other things, debrief them, but not too much information. Just give them a game plan and we need to just stick with it. Yeah. And, and did they stick with it as far as you're concerned for second? Yeah, yeah, I think we did. Um, listen, it's always going to be, I've said before, it's always going to be blips in games. You're going to have your 10, 15 minutes where you're not going to play the way you don't always, it won't work for 45 minutes, even at top levels, it doesn't work like that. So when you don't get your chances and you've got the last 10 minutes or, or a certain 10 minutes, you just got to dig in, work hard, but then like you hear us on the side, just get the ball. And once we get back into it and start passing and moving it, we get back into our other Wimborne game. You know, we want to play, but uh, like I say, we just got to rough it out sometimes. We lose a little bit of concentration. So psychologically, we've just got to get back on it, win the battles, and then to get the passing game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and our second goal came um, 20 minutes into the second half. Just as Danny was saying, Taunton had had a, a bit of a spell. And then uh, we had the same combination of, of loop through to, to Toby. But for me, the person that made that was, was Louis Kellaway. He nicked the ball away and passed it on to Luke. Luke through to Toby. He was down the right and from the edge of the box, another fantastic finish, wasn't it? Absolutely. You know, and Louis, we, we've had a word with the boys and we felt a few of them owed, owed us one from Saturday. You know, we're, we're not worried about things at the moment at all, you know, and, and the boys done okay. But we said, Louis, you know, we want you back to your game. Pre-season has been fantastic in the last couple of games. And there's a few of us off on Saturday, but he's coming tonight, done exactly what we want from him. He steps in, he hustles like little Jack Russell, you know, gets on the ball, Nick Spalls for me, and that's what we want. And that's his game, breaking up the plane. He got back on the loop on the ball, 
once again slotted through for Toby. Yep. And yeah, you know, that's great. But that's what he's there for, you know, just to mix up the play, win the ball, pass and move. And he's got such a great um, engine. He has, he has, isn't he? Yeah. But, but I might just point out that Lou is actually quite a tall Jack Russell. Really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. But, but, but Lou is that's tremendous. Very... And then at two or three minutes after that, um, Louis was subject to a quite a, an unpleasant foul in the centre there, and there was a melee. I couldn't believe it. The number of Taunton players that ran from just about everywhere, including the keeper, got round the referee. I think they ended up with they had two guys booked, and then one of them got got sent off. And, and is that to do with this respect rule and saying things to the ref? Do you think, or, or well, I just don't know what happened there. I, I just think it's heat at the moment. You know, we, we're getting into a good situation. Um, they're, they're you know they're a big strong side. And they're going to be up there this year. And yep. I think they yep. must have got frustrated. Um, once they, you know, we know that they're going to be in the top four or five this year. We're looking, definitely looking for promotion. And I just think maybe we have got about them and there's a frustration. And you know it's like in games, we all get heated from the ball at the yeah. moment. But yeah, yeah it, it was unpleasant. But once again, you know, um, fair play to our boys. You know, we stood our ground. We gave as good as we got. But at the end of the day, we kept that respect and, um, and managed it well and dusted ourselves down and got on with our game. Got, got on with the game. So with about 20 minutes to go, we had the advantage of, of one man. And boy, did we use that advantage well. The lads at the back were knocking it around and forcing their men to run and chase and, and just tie them out. I thought we used that really, really intelligently. Yeah, you must yeah. have been pleased about that. Absolutely. I mean, that's a big thing we use is saying about game management, you know, and if we're getting now in the lead and things are going well, and we've got the, you know, we have the extra man, we need to keep passing and moving the ball, not be too gun ho as we say, you know, just getting in behind and just move and manage the ball. And situations like the goals today came, you know, you'll, you'll get into them little holes and pockets to get the goals that we did but um, no like I say they passed and moved the ball and a great you know after after Saturday we're back to what we, we can do yep. well yep. You, know. you, you must have been looking for a, a real reaction from the lads from, from yep. Saturday and, and, I, and I think that was a big ask against Taunton but boy did they deliver but yep. then with 10 minutes to go Taunton got back into it I, I can't remember whether it was a corner or a cross a towering header from their centre forward Matt Wright to make it 2-1 and really that was the only way they were going to get back in and you then begin to think well they're going to play for free kicks and keep knocking that ball in yep. but we, we defended well and, and, and we just stuck to our game plan really didn't we uh, Jamie came on uh, for, for Toby uh, or, sorry Josh had already come on hadn't he for, uh, for, for base and down this side we all love Josh Hartley he's got a, a tremendous left foot and everything and he gets really stuck into it doesn't he so the, the, the couple of interesting substitutions that, that seem to work well yeah Josh Hartley you know we know about how dynamic he can be with the pace and he just felt that Sam was getting looked a bit tired so we got him on to just change and reflect things he's been fantastic once again this year but we know that he's very dynamic and get at him and there were just chances to expose him when they had the three at the back so we've got yeah. Josh on you know and, he, and then he, Jamie he, came on for, for Toby yeah. who Toby who once again to just run his heart out, yeah. isn't he? Fantastic. Yeah. Just goes and goes and yeah. goes. Yeah, Toby, Toby was feeling that, you know, um, even 10 minutes before um, he wanted to come off, he just could you give me 10 minutes, he felt his quads, you know, and he's experienced enough to know his own body, and it was very sensible, you know, he's not trying to go through pain, and, you know, and if he knows he's, he's done enough for the team, and he said, you know, I, I need to come off at some stage, so right. we, it was good game management and from him as well, and he said that, so we've got Jamie on, who's itching a bit, like I say, we feel he's still coming a bit of a knot, but we knew we must have been someone of his ability, we oh. know we'd have to to bring on at yes. some stage yes. to make yes. things happen at night. Yeah, yeah. And he and he did a couple of the typical Jamie Davidson things where he just sort of conjures things out of nowhere, doesn't he? With three or four men round him and he just comes out with the ball with a big yeah. smile on his face. <laughs> Absolutely. Like I say, you know, Jamie, we just try to manage him at the moment, but he's got so much more to offer. And I think the fans, sports, board, and everyone will not seen all of him yet. There's a lot more to come. Yeah, yeah. And so we managed to hold out for the last 10 minutes. It was a bit, a bit edgy at times, um, but in the end, a 2-1, a 2-1 win. And the boys really deserved it, didn't they? I think so. But you know, how these games can go. Sometimes, you know, you see a 2-1 and, the, you know, they're throwing balls in. You think, oh my God. But once again, but like you said, the back four and Stokesy with you know in the back with defending headers, they yeah. they all put on a fantastic show in there and the resilience of the team to help us get three points today. I think it's yeah. just been a real good all round display. It, it, it was, it was. So we've, we've come away with our second home successive win in, in the league here, which is pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. And, and any injuries or was it a bit early to tell? 
bit early to tell, but no, I've just been got a couple of knocks and bruises. You know, like I said, the, the, the games are coming thick and fast. Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. We've got a smallish squad, as we all know, and at the moment they've been, we've been mindful. And once again, Matty's really good, and you know, Shane, we we we, we um, manage the boys quite well. Some of them won't start sometimes, some are. But um, at the moment, fingers crossed, we we're all fine. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you, Danny. Right. Good man. And so our next game is here on Saturday in the FA Cup against Alresford Town. And um, hopefully we can make some progress in the cup competitions this season as well. Yes, no, definitely. Yeah, once again, coming away from the league for a little while. It's an exciting time, you know. Our first um, involvement in the FA Cup as management. So, um, no, really looking forward to that. And it takes a little bit of emphasis, or the pressure away from the league. But obviously, yeah. the FA Cup brings another kind of pressure. So, but and I'm there, enjoy it. And a really good crowd here again. I think it was 228. So, a fantastic evening here at the WNS Stadium. We won 2 0. But just before I go, I must just point out my, uh, my hat here. That uh, if you want to buy one of these and look just like me, Although, does that sell it very well? It if you want to buy one of these, they're just £7.50 from the club shop. So, goodbye and hope to see you all on Saturday. Cheers. Cheers.